Hello everyone, this is Glenn Elliott, and in this tutorial we're going to continue talking about multicam editing in Final Cut Pro 10. In the previous tutorial, we went over how to natively sync your footage from within Final Cut Pro, how to make a multi-clip, and how to edit it on the timeline. Now, with my personal experience, I found that Final Cut Pro's native ability to sync footage based on a waveform tends to get a little um, touchy when you have a more complicated project. For example, if you have a project with multiple angles, multiple starts and stops per angle, and multiple audio sources like this project has, it tends to be a little less reliable. For that reason, we always use an external source source to sync our footage, and that's a third-party program called Pluralize 3, which I'm going to go over that um, shortly. So we've prepared all the footage now. What we've done is actually added the metadata to each camera, because when you bring it into Final Cut Pro 10, Final Cut Pro has no idea what camera it is. So we actually added this metadata up here to camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, camera 4. We've also done the same thing with our discrete audio sources, because each audio source has to be treated like an, its own angle. So we actually highlighted it, went into the inspector, and actually added a camera name to our, all of our audio sources, or off-camera audio. In order to have Pluralize 3 sync your footage, there's a little bit of prep work needing to be done. And it's pretty simple. It's essentially just making a project, dumping all of your footage in there, exporting the XML, and then bringing that into Pluralize 3. Pluralize 3 syncs based on XML. So we're gonna take you through the process now. It's pretty simple. We're gonna open up a new project. We're gonna go up to camera one. We're gonna highlight all of our clips from camera one and append them down to the timeline. We're gonna do the same thing with camera two, but we have to stack every camera angle. We don't want them side by side. They have to be separated. So we're gonna hit Q to connect camera two. Now each file that has, each camera that has more than one file has to be grouped. So we're gonna highlight these three files from camera two, hit command G to group it. We're gonna do the same thing with camera three, hit Q, highlight them, hit command G to group them. And the same for camera four. Hit Q, highlight them to group them, hit Command G. And now we have to do that with all of our camera, our audio um, angles as well. So we're gonna highlight that, hit Q, 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 and the last one here. So as you can see, they got staggered a little bit, so we're just gonna drag them to make sure they're stacked on top of one another. So having this uh, gap clip here won't affect anything. So essentially what we did is we made a project, dump all of our footage, and we're careful to make sure that every angle had its own lane here. You don't want them stacked side by side. So camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four, and here's all of our audio sources. As you can tell, we're a little crazy with our, our audio. So we have everything we need to export the XML. Exporting XML is super easy, can't be any easier. You just go to File, Export XML, and just name it. We're just gonna name it Multicam, that's fine. And it's done, you're already done. You have the XML is already exported, it's a really small file. So now all we have to do is load Pluralize 3. Once Pluralize 3 is up, we have to import that project, or XML. So go to File, New Project from Final Cut Pro 10. And then from here, we find the file that we just named it Multicam, just hit open. What it's gonna do is read all of that footage. So all the footage from the timeline is all inside Pluralize right now. So once that's all done, hit synchronize. And this is amazing how fast this thing works. It's super accurate. Anytime I have problems with syncing in Final Cut Pro um, natively, I take it to um, Pluralize 3 and it nails it every time. I never had an issue with it, knock on wood. So um, it's all synced, it's ready to go. So now that it's done, we have to go export it back to Final Cut. Hit the export timeline and choose Final Cut Pro 10. Now the settings I use uh, are Final Cut Pro X XML, create multi-camera clip, and open event slash project automatically in Final Cut Pro. The one next to last, create an event with audio content replaced, I haven't found a use for that, so I leave that unchecked. So we just have to hit export. Now once you hit export, Final uh, Pluralize 3 does a couple of things. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is a brand new project that you did not make. It's called Multicam Synced. It added synced as a, um, a suffix. And you open it up and all it is is every file that we just dropped in, like just like the previous project, but now it's synced, it's all lined up. And we started our audio recorders early, that's how you can tell that they're running for a while before the video starts. So this is all synced up, however, it's not a multi-cam, uh, a multi-clip. So it, it makes a new project that and, and syncs all of your footage, plus it'll make a multi-clip 
in another event. So up here, you're gonna see a new event. It says Multicam MC Multiclip, and you see the Multiclip here. What I usually do is I don't wanna have multiple events, so I'll just grab this Multiclip in this new event that I created, drag it over to our previous event we were working on, and let go. Once that's moved, we can go ahead and delete this redundant event. So now our multi-clip is in here. You can see it right here by the icon to denote that it's a multi-clip. And we're gonna go ahead and create another new project to drop this multi-clip in that Pluralize 3 just created. So just like any other multi-clip you create natively, you can go ahead and right click and choose open an angle editor to double check your sync. And I'll just, these uh, camera clip heights are pretty big, so I'm just lowering them so you can see everything. So you can double check everything. And just like any other any other uh, multi-clip, you can you know double check your, your sync by listening to audio, et cetera. Pluralize 3 does an, a, an amazing job at syncing. It's incredibly fast, very accurate. Um, for that reason, we tend to not even use the native sync, even for short projects. I'm just so used to just running and exporting the XML, bringing it into uh, Pluralize 3. It's pretty fast. So that's a quick outline of how to use Pluralize 3 to sync your footage for Final Cut Pro 10. If you're having problems using the native sync, if it's for some reason Final Cut 10's not, you know, syncing it properly, having problems with a particular project, I suggest giving Pluralize 3 a try. Give it a, you know, download it, give it a shot, and see how it works for you. For us, it's worked wonderfully. I feel like the project's worth its weight in gold. They do not pay us. I wish they did, but it's a wonderful program, and um, I suggest everyone to try it, unless, you know, you, you only work with really short projects and never encountered any issues with sync within Final Cut Pro 10. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time.